Chicken! Adobo. Jaren! Uy! <laughs> ito sa akin, mas lutong bahay. Yan, akin to ah. Bata pa lang ako, chicken talaga. Adobo. All time favorite. Adobo. Ah, talaga. And go yeah, for the adobo. Ako, oh, one meal for the rest of my life. Fried chicken. Let's try this. Mmm. 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 Sorry, di ko ito makausap. <laughs> Naman. Walang rice pero win it. Fruits and vegetables. Mas gusto kong kainin yung fruits pag fresh. Pero masarap yung adobo kanina so baka mas yun. I would prefer the chicken pero I mean the fruits I can eat. The vegetables. Ito naman, everything. kaya pwede naman natin ito kainin. Hindi lang talaga everything. Ito po yung third set. Let's okay. Open it. Nutrilite, double X, multivitamin, multimineral, at saka phytonutrients. Tatlo. Ako, for someone who doesn't eat vegetables and fruits, I think I would use this one. Same with me, I would take this to complement the nutrients that I get with the fruits and vegetables that I eat. Gusto kong itry. Hindi ako everyday nakakakain ng healthy food. Ako for me, makakahelp din siya sa akin kasi nga supplement siya. Ang palakas ng katawan niya. Of course, kumakain ng gulay pero I think this would help more. And now that we're in the pandemic, we need that extra boost. Hey, good morning, Amway Philippines. So this topic is very interesting since we will discuss about the world flavors, cuisines, and ingredient combinations that not only taste sensational, but are insanely good for your overall health. So my name is Klatsi and I'm one of the senior training specialists of Amway Philippines. I hope you will learn a lot for our topic for today. So let's start with um, why is the demand for natural herbs and spices increasing? Yeah. Um, so diseases caused by excessive use of chemicals and additives are rising rapidly across the world. And consumers are now aware about the harmful impact of um, synthetic additives and are thus shifting towards food and beverages containing natural herbs and spices. I'm sure some of you meron din kayong mga natural herbs and spices at home that you use for cooking, right? We mostly use that for cooking. So due to the growing demand for natural food ingredients, the consumption of plant-based food ingredients is increasing as compared to microbial and fermented and even artificial food ingredients. So the willingness of consumers to pay, to pay a premium price for a more natural product has changed the dynamics of various markets. And um, it's also anticipated to increase the demand for natural herbs and spices. Di ba halos lahat? Siguro dati we only have that um, uh, knowledge about uh, herbal medicine, right? But now it's not just um, becoming... Uh, a trend, but it's actually like everyone already knows that having natural herbs and spices um, can give you extra benefit, right, for our health. So these factors have been helping the market to expand. Um, according to FMI's analysis, herbs and spices sales have grown at 2.7% compound annual growth rate between 2016 and 2021. Lalo ngayon, marami nang nagkaka- nag nagiging plantito-plantita, right? They actually um, grow their own herbs and spices um, in their backyard or even, you know, inside their houses. Yeah. So what are herbs and spices, ba? Is it the same? Is it different? So let's get to know 
uh, that. So herbs generally refer to the leafy green or flowering parts of a plant. It, uh, it's either fresh or dried. And spices, on the other hand, are usually dried and produced from other parts of the plant. Um, so that includes the seeds, the bark, the roots, and even the fruits. So herbs have a variety of uses, including um, culinary, they use it for medicinal. Even mga Filipinos, we're already used to that, um, using herbs and spices for medicinal uses. And in some cases, some actually use it for spiritual um, rituals as well. So what is the main difference between herbs and spices? In broad terms, both herbs and spices come from plants, but herbs are the fresh part of the plant, while spice is the dried root, dried stalk, um, the seed or the dried fruit of the plant that is almost always dried and not fresh as compared to uh, the herbs. So the use of herbs and spices has been incredibly important throughout history and many were celebrated for their medicinal properties well before uh, they use it for culinary. And modern science has shown that many of them do indeed carry remarkable health benefits. So let's see um, some examples. Let's start with alfalfa. So it's also known as um, lucerne or madicago sativa. This is a plant that has been grown as feed for livestock for hundreds of years. So it was long priced for its superior content of vitamins, minerals, and protein compared to other uh, feed sources. So alfalfa is a fair source of vitamin K, and it also contains many other nutrients, including vitamin C, copper, manganese, and folate. And it is also very low in calories, right? So alfalfa has the ability to reduce cell death and even DNA damage caused by free radicals. And it does this by both lowering the production of free radicals and also improving the body's ability to fight them. So that's alfalfa. The next example is elderberries. These are uh, the fruit of the Sambocas tree. So the most common type is the Sambocas nigra. So the tree has clusters of small white or cream elder flowers and bunches of small blue or black elderberries. Native Americans and European um, herbalists have long used elderberries for their supposed range of health benefits. So that includes boosting the immune system to help the body fight off colds, flu, and other respiratory infections. Amazing, right? Next, we have garlic. Yeah, and I'm sure everyone's familiar with garlic. This is a vegetable related to onion, chives, and leeks. Garlic is used as a flavoring agent in cooking and also as an herbal supplement. So it originated from Europe and Western Asia and has been used throughout ancient history to prevent a wide variety of conditions. So the compound in garlic, um, allium sativum, or what we all know as allicin, is responsible for many health benefits. And according to research, allicin can have a beneficial effect on the heart because of its ability to reduce cholesterol and even blood pressure levels. So high cholesterol and blood pressure are both factors uh, known to increase the risk of heart disease. So in addition to its effect on cholesterol levels, um, allicin and other compounds found in garlic may keep the blood pressure levels in check. And lastly, allicin is found um, also, uh, allicin is also, okay, let's go back to parts garlic. So allicin um, is also found that it has excellent antimicrobial properties and a number of laboratory studies have found that allicin had antibacterial and antifungal activity against a variety of pathogens including um, the staphylo staphylococcus um, aureus or the E. coli and the um, helicobacter pylori. So next, we have the parsley. There, parsley is a popular herb, 
right? Often used in American, even European, and Middle Eastern cooking. So it's commonly used to elevate the flavor of dishes like soups, salads, and uh, fish recipes. Minsan nakakita na lang natin si parsley na pinanggagarnish, right? Aside from its many culinary uses, parsley is highly nutritious and has been shown to have many powerful health benefits. So parsley is low in calories yet rich in important nutrients kagaya ng vitamin A, vitamin K, and even vitamin C. So we all know that vitamin A is um, an essential nutrient that plays a key role in our immunity and our eye health. Diba? And uh, parsley is also a great source of vitamin K. So vitamin K naman is good for our um, bone and heart health. In fact, just two tablespoons or eight grams of parsley deliver more vitamin K than you need in a day. And additionally, it's packed with vitamin C. And this is a nutrient that improves the heart health and um, is vital to our immune system. Next, we have peppermint. Okay, so for peppermint, that it has a, a long history of use in folk medicine and even in aromatherapy. Uh, I believe whenever you go to a spa, you will smell that hint of peppermint. As is the case with many herbs, it is the oily component that contains the agents responsible for the health effects. So peppermint tea, for example, relaxes the digestive tract and promotes, uh, promotes proper bile flow, two actions that keep your digestive system functioning at optimal levels. And the active ingredient in peppermint is, I'm sure you know, it's menthol. Some small studies show it can lessen the pain of migraine headaches, and it also reduces other symptoms like light sensitivity, nausea, and vomiting. Kaya nga, pag may mga ganong feeling, yun agad yung pinapaamoy natin, right? So, not only does the flavor of peppermint freshen your breath, but its antibacterial properties may also get rid of the source of the smell or the germs. And peppermint's antimicrobial powers may help you fight off uh, the common cold or the infected mucus that sets up a uh, shop in your sinuses as a result. And we also have uh, rosemary. So if you love cooking, I'm sure you have um, rosemary in your house. Rosemary is a very uh, popular plant. It's a perennial herb of the mint family that originates from the Mediterranean region. So the Greeks used this plant to improve memory and stimulate brain function since it is rich, rich in antioxidants that can help slow down or even prevent oxidative damage to important cellular components. So it is also commonly used as a spice thanks to its unique flavor. I'm sure pag nakalagay kayo ng rosemary sa niluluto niyo, you will know that there's rosemary because it because of that significant or because of that of that distinct flavor of rosemary. So scientifically, rosemary is known as Rosmarinus officinalis and is often found in gardens for its ornamental purposes while its leaves are used as a flavoring agent. So one of the benefits of rosemary is promoting immune function. So rosemary is a rich source of antioxidants and even an anti-inflammatory compounds. Thus, it may assist the body to boost the functions of the immune system as well as improve the circulation of substances that fight infections around the body. So some studies show that the antioxidants found in rosemary play an important role in neutralizing the harmful or damaging results that excessive free radicals cause in the human body and improve the immunity of the body to pathogenic microbes. So, saan ba natin nakukuha yung free radicals? Right? Marami tayong nababanggit na free radicals and of course, they're being fight uh, off by the antioxidants that we get from these um, herbs and spices. So, we get that from um, an unhealthy lifestyle. Right? You, if, if you have... Um, not enough sleep, if you have poor um, eating habits, if you don't exercise, or if you have, uh, you know, if your stress levels are high, there you can get um, 
uh, you can get the free radicals that causes the main degenerative diseases. That's why it's important that we have um, the right amount of antioxidants in our body to fight off those free ra radicals. So in turn, the health of the body is preserved much more efficiently than hoping it carries out its mandate on its own. So again, um, if you know where to get the rich source of antioxidants, make sure you got that in your kitchen or on your table. So spinach next is an annual herb. Um, it spread from Southwest Asia where it was um, used by the Persians as a medicine. And spinach is an extremely nutrient-rich vegetable. If you're looking for um, a vegetable that's almost, uh, uh, you know, full of nutrients and almost full of, you know, the kinds of nutrients that we need every day, it's spinach. So um, it's uh, it packs high amounts of carotenoids, even vitamin C, vitamin K, folic acid, iron, and even calcium. So spinach is high in insoluble fiber as well, which may boost your health in several ways. It adds bulk to our stool as food passes through your, our digestive system. So this may help uh, prevent constipation. And spinach contains several important plant compounds, including lutein. So san ba magaling si lutein? This compound is linked to improve eye health that's right and we have caemphorol so this antioxidant may decrease your risk of cancer and chronic diseases and it also has nitrates so spinach contains high amounts of nitrates which may promote heart health and we have um the phytonutrient quercetin as well so this antioxidant may ward off infection and inflammation and spinach is one of the richest dietary sources of quercetin. And we have the zeaxanthin. So it's like lutein. Zeaxanthin can also improve eye health. Next, one of, I guess, the most popular nowadays is turmeric. So uh, this is the spice that gives curry its yellow color. It has been used in India for thousands of years as both a spice and medicinal herb. Recently, science has started to back up traditional claims that turmeric contains compounds with uh, medicinal properties. So this, these compounds are called curcuminoids. So the most important one is the curcumin. So curcumin is the main active ingredient in turmeric. It has powerful anti-inflammatory effects and is a very strong antioxidant. Next, we have watercress. So watercress is an aquatic herb, maybe because of its name, right? So it has been long uh, valued for its medicinal benefits and not just as a garnish. Ito usually nakikita talaga natin garnish sa mga dishes. So it's small, uh, round leaves, and the edible stems have a, a peppery and slightly spicy flavor. Watercress is part of the um, brass, brassicaceae family of vegetables, which also includes the kale, the Brussels, uh, Brussels sprouts, and the cabbage. So watercress is low in calories but packs a vast array of nutrients. Did you know that one cup or 34 grams of watercress provides over 100% of the um, recommended the daily intake or RDI for vitamin K? So vitamin K is a fat-soluble vitamin necessary for blood clotting and uh, for healthy bones as well. Watercress also contains small amounts of vitamin E, um, also thiamine, um, riboflavin and vitamin B6, folate, pantothenic acid, even magnesium, phosphorus, potassium, sodium, and copper. So watercress is packed with plant compounds uh, called antioxidants that protect against cell damage caused by free radicals, which are harmful mo molecules that lead to oxidative stress. All right, so those are just examples of the herbs and spices that are rich uh, rich in different nutrients and even antioxidants that our body can benefit from. Now, let's look at some tips for cooking herbs. Ayan. 
So first, uh, when we're cooking herbs, whether tender or hardy, experts recommend washing herbs before storing them because any dirt or bacteria on them will encourage the decaying process. So, I mean, I, I'm sure some of you are actually um, storing herbs, right? So before we store them, make sure that you wash them properly. Rinse them in cold water and then dry them as much as possible. Yung iba pag namamadali, pat dry na lang, di ba? But, you know, it's good if it's really dry um, with probably a salad spinner, um, a pillowcase. You can do it with a pillowcase or you can use the gentle blotting in your paper dry with a paper towel. And also, um, date the bottles. Yeah, when you open new bottle, uh, be sure to write the date on the container. When you started opening your herbs, uh, dried herbs and spices last from six months to one year. So they don't spoil, but they do lose their potency and their flavor, right? So we bought those herbs and spices because we want to take advantage of the potency and apart from that, of course, the flavor, right? So make sure that you label them with the date when you open them. Next, um, do the smell test. So um, how can you tell if your herbs and spices are old? The smell test. So if they don't have a strong fragrance, the flavor is likely gone. So toss them and buy a new bottle. Next, um, of course, we need to store them properly. Store herbs and spices in a cool, dark place away from sunlight and heat uh, or in an airtight container. Sun and heat accelerates their expiration, and some people store them in the freezer even for longer staying power. So uh, for tender herbs, if you know you use them within a few weeks, you can clip the bottom of the stems, remove any dead leaves, and put them in water, like flowers in the fridge. Keep any leaves out of the water and shake. Kasi di ba pag nababad yung leaves, sa water na nagiging uh, nalalanta, right? So keep them out of the water and change it every few days. For hardy herbs, wrap them in a damp paper towel, seal in plastic wrap or airtight container, and keep them in the fridge. Now for a long-term freezer storage naman, if you've used what you needed for your recipe and don't see using any more in the near future, siguro hindi siya nakasama sa... Uh, naka-plan ninyo na recipe for the week or uh, two weeks. So one way to save their flavor is by making herb cubes. You can chop the herbs and put them in ice cube trays. Um, fill each cube with water or oil. You can also use a blender to puree the herbs with water or oil and pour them into a tray. So once frozen, you can pop the herb cubes into a resealable bag, label it, and they're handy for adding extra flavor for future recipes. So for hardy herbs naman, you can use the same damp paper towel sealed in plastic or a container and put it in the freezer. So the thick stems make it easy to separate the leaves for use even when uh, frozen. Next, choose cool spices. So using cool spices instead of pre-ground will result in more flavorful spices. It can be, of course, a little more work kasi buo pa siya, kailangan mo pa siyang um, durugin, but it's kind of fun to grind your own, right? Either invest in a mortar and castle if you want to do it manually and grind them by hand, or you can use an electric grinder. So if you choose to use an electric grinder, make sure that you don't share it with, for example, your coffee grinder because you'll never get rid of the residual spice flavor. So your coffee will taste like uh, one of the spices that you ground in that electric grinder. So some spices like whole nutmeg won't work in a grinder and you'll need a microplane to crush it. Next is um, you can add dried herbs closer to the beginning of cooking. All right, some actually don't do this. Some, don't, some do this, which is good. Probably they already have an idea. It takes little time to coax the full flavors out of dried herbs. So I recommend adding them into the dish earlier than later. Unless yung recipe nyo talaga would say, 
uh, after na lumamot yung karne sa kanya idandan, right? So if you put your dried oregano, for example, in your tomato sauce, right at the end of the cooking, chances are you won't even taste the oregano. That being said, fresh herbs can be a perfect way to finish a dish to brighten and freshen it up. So spices, better if you add it um, on the first part of your cooking. As for the herbs, maganda din siya to use uh, after to freshen it up or to brighten your recipe. Fresh herbs are great for adding later in the cooking process or using as a garnish. Their flavor will be preserved by minimizing their cooking time, of course. And they'll also add a great pop of color. So if you have a long cooking dish where flavors are blending and getting muddy, alam natin marami tayong mga recipe na ganyan for, for Filipino dishes that we you know keep it or we cook it for a long time para sobrang tender na ng meat. So a sprinkle of fresh herbs can brighten and clarify flavors. Okay, now let's look at some of our Nutrilite products with with uh that's that's a full of the powerful ingredients, nutrients, and even phytonutrients that we have mentioned with the some the example of um herbs and spices that we presented from the earlier slides. So how do you get most health benefits of those kitchen ingredients? Right, so we mentioned alfalfa, we mentioned parsley, spinach, and watercress. Did you know that most of those are available, or all of those, are available in our Nutrilite Daily? So the Nutrilite Daily tablet is a powerful and convenient supplement that is packed with an abundance of essential vitamins and minerals to meet your body's nutritional daily needs. So it offers essential vitamins and minerals with exclusive plant concentrates, a powerful and convenient way to help fill the vitamin and mineral nutritional gaps in your daily diet. Kasi even if we eat all the fruits and vegetables available on our table, hindi pa rin natin nakukuha yung right amount of nutrients that our body requires to reach optimum level of health. So our Nutrilite Daily has 11 vitamins and 8 minerals. It offers a wide range of nutrients to support optimal health. Also, it has exclusive six plant concentrates to deliver a natural nutritional support of phytonutrients and to protect against harmful effects of free radicals. And it uses phytonutrient mapping to identify and illustrate what type and amount of phytonutrients are contained in a plant, thus ensuring high quality of nutrients in each tablet. Also, it's halal certified, so it's suitable for our Muslim brothers and sisters. And it has no artificial colors, flavors, and preservatives added. And of course, it's covered by our satisfaction guarantee. So if for any reason you're not satisfied with the product here in Amway, you can return them within 100 days um, or you can exchange them for another product. All right. Of course, there's a uh, applicable tax with it. Next, so how do we use the Neutralite daily? The 60 tablets per bottle for adults, one daily tablet after a meal. And for children under 12 years of age, pregnant women, or nursing mothers, or anyone with medical condition, it's always best to consult with your doctors before using any of our Nutrilite product. And for kids naman kasi we have specific products for kids. Next, Alfalfa, elderberry, spinach, rosemary, and turmeric. We cannot get all of those in, you know, one sitting, right? But we can get the benefits of these plants, herbs, and spices from Nutrilite Next Generation X. So to help ensure you're getting enough, consider adding Nutrilite Next Generation X to your daily supplement routine. In addition to essential vitamins and minerals, it includes 21 plant concentrates for phytonutrient support. So phytonutrients are associated with many health benefits such as uh, eye, bone, joint, and even heart, heart health, as well as supporting immune and brain health, and many are good sources of antioxidants. Plus, many vitamin and minerals can contribute antioxidant 
property. So Neutralite uh, Next Generation X has Phytoprotect blend. It is a unique blend that together with other vitamins, minerals, and phytonutrients in X supplement, it is designed to help support your own body's antioxidant defense mechanism. So what happens? Uh, it, proact it, it helps your body to proactively fight against excess free radicals that cause oxidative stress, helping your cells, uh, your cells to help themselves. So the Neutralite Double X Supplement helps support full body health with 12 essential vitamins, 10 essential minerals, which the body cannot make. So we must take them in through diet or supplements, and even phytonutrients from 21 fruits, vegetables, and herb concentrates sourced from plants grown on Neutralite certified organic farms and NutriCert certified supplier farms. Vitamin and mineral levels have been optimized based on the current scientific findings and recommendations, and these nutrients are in amounts um, in the formula to help meet the necessary recommended daily requirements to help support normal functions and body uh, of our body systems. It's also lactose free for easy digestion and also caffeine free to easily absorb calcium. All right, so it comes in vacuum sealed packaging to act as a barrier against moisture. Um, it has the UV light and um, oxidation that. Uh, the, the UV light and oxidation that degrade uh, the active ingredients in the product. So uh, make sure that you keep it in the uh, packaging or in the vacuum sealed packaging. I actually have an example here with me. So this is the Neutralite Double X container. This is the 31 day supply. So once you've opened it, make sure that you keep it um, in their uh, packaging. So don't pour everything in the tray to lessen the oxidation, right? And of course, to uh, pa para mas mahaba yung efficacy niya. No artificial colors, flavors, and preservatives added. It's also halal certified that's suitable for our Muslim brothers and sisters. And uh, of course, it's covered by our satisfaction guarantee. So if for any reason you think it's not working for you, you can always return the product for a refund within 100 days, or you can request for an exchange uh, or a diff for a different product. So again, we have the 31-day supply. This is the 31-day supply. We also have the 62-day supply. So, siguro pag kaubos nito, you just have to buy the 62-day supply and you refill the tray. So for adults, consume one tablet or one vitamin tablet, one mineral tablet, and one phytonutrient tablet twice daily with meals and children under 12 years of age pregnant women or nursing mothers syempre may mga medical conditions are also um recommended or it's best to always consult with your doctors before using any neutralite products it's best to store uh, store the foil packs in the tray compartments as what i have shown earlier and you fold each packet closed after removing your daily tablets keep the tray in a cool dry place at temperatures not exceeding 30 degrees celsius because the natural plant concentrate in the tablets will darken makikita niyo yun pag exposure sa sunlight it will darken if it's exposed to high humidity so this does not affect uh the flavor or the quality but you can see the difference in the color Next, we have the garlic and peppermint, which are available in our Nutrilite garlic. So you can get the benefits of garlic traditionally used to promote overall well-being, healthy heart with added benefits of phytonutrients from plant compounds. So the garlic, that does not talk back, <laughs> containing 300 milligram of concentrated garlic, a potent antioxidant protecting cell membranes and even DNA from damage. So for people who want to have a safe, natural way to support heart health, you can take the Nutrilite garlic. So it contains 300 milligrams of concentrated garlic to provide a significant level of allicin. Again, para san ba si allicin? It helps maintain blood lipid levels already within normal range and helps support immunity as well. 
So it has phytonutrients to help support immunity and fight free radicals. Tablet is um it has an enteric coating to protect the active components from acidic pH during um transit through our stomach. And of course, um it's peppermint coated to mask the garlic's aroma, giving you the benefit of um garlic without the unpleasant drawback of eating its raw malts. Meron na bang nakasubok sa atin na kumain ng raw garlic? Siyempre yung taste nun and the smell of it will stay in our mouth and even pag nag-burp, right, you can still smell the garlic. It's uh, It has no co uh, artificial colors, flavors, and preservatives added. It's halal certified and it's covered by our satisfaction guarantee. So there's 120 tablets per bottle. Take two tablets daily, preferably with meals. And of course, again, children under 12 years of age, pregnant women or nursing mothers, or anyone with medical condition, it's always best to consult with your physician before using this product. All right. So I know that, you know, there are a lot of different brands out in the market claiming that they have the same ingredients, probably claiming that they have phytonutrients and um you know that they're um, organic based as well but why will you choose nutrilite bakit ba nutrilite yung pipiliin nyo apart from other brands that we have out in the market first because of our legacy nutrilite is a brand of mineral vitamin and dietary supplements developed in 1934 by dr carl f Renford. so since 1934 when the first nutrilite product was introduced nutrilite has become a leader in nutrition research development, and even innovation. Next, phytonutrients. What is special about Nutrilite? It's packed with essential vitamins and minerals, plus plant concentrates that deliver wide variety of phytonutrients. Did you know that Nutrilite is the pioneer in phytonutrients? Phytonutrients are plant nutrients that are found in a variety of colorful fruits and vegetables, protecting the plants from physical stress and oxidation. So taking supplements with phytonutrients provides a range of health benefits for our body. And we have the organic farms. Nutrilite is the only global vitamin and dietary supplement brand to grow, harvest, and process plants on our own certified organic farms. So Amway operates nearly 6,000 acres of certified organic farmland and employs more than 500 scientists, researchers, and technical professionals in labs across the globe. We grow, harvest, and process the plants on our own farms, and our strict quality standards ensure that not only uh, the highest quality plants are used to make sure that for our uh, that our products will have um, high quality and effective, um, safe, pure, and effective products. Next, we have traceability. So traceability is knowing where dietary supplements come from and how they are made. So the Nutrilite brand knows that nothing matters more than your health and of course, the health of your family. That's why we go above and beyond tracking our ingredients along every step of the journey. The people behind Nutrilite are committed to delivering quality products. We track everything that happens to our products from the farms where the plants are grown to the final product delivered to you and we ensure that traceability is a proof of pure safe effective supplements pure means um you're assured of high quality ingredients safe means you never have to worry about hidden contaminants and effective means you can trust your supplement to do what we promise Neutralized scientists rely on multiple quality measures to help ensure our products meet the highest standards. And our experts perform more than 25,000 tests each month and more than 500,000 quality evaluations each year to guarantee the purity, safety, and effectiveness of our products. And of course, we are number one. If you want to have supplements for your family, you would want to go with the number one, right? So Nutrilite is the world's number one selling protein uh, supplement and even vitamin, mineral, dietary supplement brand, according to Euromonitor International.
So the Neutralite brand combines the best of nature with the best of science to provide vitamin, mineral, and dietary supplements designed to fill nutritional gaps in your diet. So I hope you learned something today with our training. Don't forget you can share this training to your friends, your family members, even to your prospects and your customers so that they will learn more about the Nutrilite products. And of course, um, you can visit our website, www.amway.com.ph. You can click on education and you can choose your desired course if you want to learn more about other Amway Neutralite products, you can get that from there. Some of those are also downloadable. You can check our um, Facebook uh, page as well. That's um, Amway Philippines Training. And we also have uh, videos that's downloadable in YouTube. So you can visit the official Amway Philippines YouTube channel. And there's the Amway Philippines Training playlist where you can get recorded training videos that you can learn from anytime, anywhere. Thank you everyone for listening. My name is Clancy and again, we hope you learned from this presentation.